podcast show for business owners and managers who are passionate about developing people and growing a successful business. And now here's your host, Alistair Booth from the HR Booth. this latest lightning podcast in this episode we are going to discuss um, difficult conversations and managing performance so we help businesses solve quite a number of problems a lot of our kind of customers have a number of pain points in their business um, <clears throat> and what we help them do is kind of navigate um, some of some of these challenges and one that comes up quite often is around managing performance um, so quite often clients will kind of tell us that individuals are not performing in the business, they're not quite sure how to tackle that, um, and, and obviously they want to try and stay on the right side of employment legislation. So our feedback is that any concerns around performance, behaviour, conduct, whatever it might be, needs to be addressed in a timely manner. So what, what does that mean? So Historically, businesses have probably done things like one-to-one um, -one appraisals, and the appraisal process might be something that you kind of deal with um, once a year, um, and some businesses might do it every six months or so. But wh where that goes wrong is that businesses aren't tackling any underperformance or any areas of improvement in a timely manner. And what, what you're doing there is actually um, not giving the individual the opportunity to improve. So the first time they're perhaps getting that feedback is that you're kind of formal one to one. Um, and that's it's just isn't acceptable. So, you know, if an individual is not performing, it's your duty as a manager to kind of give them regular ongoing feedback on, on that. Now, if it's something that is majorly annoying you and it's a major breach of your processes and your policies then you know you might not want to deal with it immediately because you might be um quite emotional about that topic um so you, you might want to park it for a period of time maybe later that day and then deal with it but there's no point waiting to the six month um review or the annual appraisal review and then kind of pulling out a list of all the things that the, the individual has kind of done wrong or what you're not happy with that just isn't going to isn't going to work so if you're observing um you know performance it needs to be addressed in, in a timely manner and what you need to be doing is giving them specific feedback on the areas of concern and giving them an opportunity to improve on that you also need to make sure that that um, is documented and followed up so that you can refer to that at a later date um, and again if you continue to observe um, things that are, are a concern then you need to be addressing that in a timely manner as well and not maybe leaving it a week um, if that was when you've agreed to re review it um, if, you, if you're seeing things that are, you're not happy with and you know isn't isn't where it needs to be that needs to be needs to be addressed uh, quite quite quickly so that that could be including things like if it's um an individual in your team making mistakes with um, spelling an email or documents that are going out to clients if you're noticing kind of spelling mistakes or the tone is not correct then that needs to be addressed because otherwise they're going to continue to do the same thing and it's going to impact on your business and your reputation and the service that you provide uh, you might also be observing um telephone calls so they might not be um introducing their cell for the business properly they might be using inappropriate phrases during the calls. There might just be things that you're listening to that you're not, you you know, you're not comfortable with in terms of your business. So again, if that's things you're observing, you need to be addressing that and giving some feedback. Uh, and again, perhaps you know, coaching them through that and asking them, you know, what would they do differently around that scenario. Um, so just capturing things like that. Um, and then if it's things like more in a kind of manufacturing setting, you might be looking at things around uh, quality. Uh, you might be looking at things around productivity, teamwork, etc. So all these types of things you need to be observing and giving regular ongoing feedback and dealing with it, as I say, in, in a timely manner. Uh, and performance is also about catching people doing the right things as well. So again, everybody uh, loves a bit of praise and recognition. So if you see someone doing um, something good, then what you want to be, do, uh, be doing is calling that out as well and giving some uh, feedback on that as well, because you know it makes them feel good and they'll continue to do the right things. Um, and sometimes it's quite nice as well if you're calling out positive feedback in public, it kind of sends a message to everybody else that you know they perhaps want to do something like that as well and get that praise and recognition also. But it's really important if it's something that's a, a little bit negative or constructive, that has to be dealt with in a private setting. Uh, so don't be dealing with that in a, in a public kind of forum that you know would cause the individual to feel humiliated, to feel embarrassed, and it's probably not the culture and and, and the type of business that you're you're trying to kind of create. So anything that's kind of negative and constructive has to be dealt with. You know, one in a time. 
a manner, but to in a in a private setting as well, and give you know your role as a manager is also to listen. So get give the feedback, but listen and ultimately try to kind of help, uh, put a plan in place to help improve. And obviously, if that doesn't work, then you know what we can cover in a in a in a later podcast is how then to kind of manage that that underperformance. But quite often, business owners and managers you know see it as a problem because you know they're not sure what to say. But on the feedback, you know, if someone is late and consistently late, then you're entitled to have a conversation with them and, and give them that feedback. Don't don't be afraid to challenge that. You know, that it's your business, you're the manager. And, you know, if, if you're observing these types of things, then you're entitled to have that conversation and just ask the question why the individual's late. And if there's a common reason or common themes coming up, then what you might want to do is, is put a plan in place to help fix that. But ultimately, the responsibility lies with your, your employee to get to work on time. Uh, and ultimately, the, if it's an underperformance issue or not following a process that you've asked them to do, that issue lies with that individual. So they, they need to put steps in place to kind of fix that. Um, so hopefully that's given you a flavour of, you know, how to maybe tackle a difficult conversation or underperformance. But um, the key message that I would give you is make sure that you tackle any of that in a timely manner. Make sure it's then kind of followed up in writing and it's documented so you can refer to that at a later date. So if you've got any questions on difficult conversations or managing performance in a timely manner, please let us know but also any other HR related issue you know how to contact us thanks again for tuning in